I I substituted X and Y. I couldn't figure the rest out. Uh, for these types of problem, we should replace, right? We should replace with a small examples. Agreed. Yeah. Like x equal to y equals one. Yes, here x and y can be what numbers? Sorry. It says x and y are real numbers, real numbers. Okay. So. Yeah. Let's consider some special cases in function problems. It can be useful. For example, x0, y0, we can conclude what if x and y are 0. Negative 2 f of 0, 0 equals c. Let's check. 2f of 0 is equal to 4f of 0 plus c, right? Yeah. Plus c. So f of 0 will be what then in terms of c? Uh, f of 0 will be c over negative c over 2. Exactly. So look, we don't know. Probably this one can be useful, but we don't know. So when you reach a result that maybe it's useful, draw a thing around that and say, okay, it is first result. Okay. Why it is important, especially it's useful in round two because for example maybe you cannot reach last answer in in a full solution exam like bmo or another exams but if you write them you can get some marks okay have you have you participated in amc before or not i haven't will you participate in amc next year or not uh, next year i will uh, you can also participate in bmo okay these two exams are national exams and so much prestigious. At first, AMC for America, then BMO for UK, okay? Okay. You can participate in both of them. These two exams have lots of international participants from China all around the world, okay? Okay. So F of 0 is this one. Now let's consider only Y is 0. Then left hand side is what? Um, AX equal to zero. The left hand side will be what when y is equal to zero. Two fx. Yes. Two fx. What about right hand side? Two fx plus two f zero. So a uh, two f zero is what? Two f zero is what? Minus c. Then what? Uh, plus ax. Plus yeah. So, this one and this one will be cancelled, right? This one and this yeah. one will be cancelled. So, what can we conclude? Ax equals 0, a equals 0. Yes, because x can be any real number. So, good result. We found a is what, right? Yeah. So, now we can ignore this, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, can you guess for ne in next part we should consider what? X equals zero. Yes, X equals zero. Then left hand side is what? F of Y mm -hmm. plus F of negative Y. What about right hand side? Uh, Negative C plus yes. 2 for Y. If you simplify, what can we conclude? F of Y. 
What about B1? We can cancel C and C. We can cancel these two and these. So F of negative Y is equal to F of Y plus BY, right? Yeah. We can draw a rectangle and three. Okay. Now what's okay. the other special case about X and Y that we can check? X equal to Y equal to 1? Uh, let's consider only X is equal to Y, more general, okay? Okay. Then can you tell me if we consider this? We can say what? f of 2x minus f of x minus bx equal to 3c over okay so left hand side is f of 2x plus f of 0 f of 0 was what negative c over 2 right the right hand side is what 4 f of x right plus bx plus c right yeah oh, yeah so we found f of 2x is 4f of x plus bx plus what? Plus 3c over 2. Exactly, plus 3c over 2. Let's consider this one and four, as fourth result, okay? Yeah, then uh, x equal to 4. I mean x equal to 2 and then we get 5f over 4. We can try to find f of 1, right? Yeah. Because we know f of 2, by this, we can find f of 1 in terms of b and c, right? Yeah. So, calculate f of 1 in terms of b and c. f of 1 equal to 3 over 4 minus b over 4 minus 3 c over 8. Can I say it again? f of 1 equal to 3 over 4 minus b over 4 minus 3 c over 8. Yes, so. If we consider this, f of 2, 4 f of 1 plus x is 1, b plus 3 c over 2, right? Yeah. f of 2 is 3. So f of 1, as you said, is 3 over 4. Are you writing something down? Yes, I'm writing. You cannot see? I cannot see. So let me reshare it. Mm -hmm. Can you see my screen now? I'm not able to see. You, you cannot see my screen? 
Yeah, I cannot see a screen. No, no, not at all. Didn't let me okay now i oh i stopped let me share it so what about now i think it has exactly yeah. let's wait Okay, now I can see. Okay. 3 over 4 minus B over 3, right? Yeah. Let's check. Minus B over 4, sorry. Minus B over 4 minus 3C over 8, right? Okay. So we can say it's our fifth result, right? Now that we saw this, we can, for example, replace because of we know these values. Uh, we, we can find another relationship for f of 1. We should work with which of them? Yeah, I still can't see because... Why? I, I have not written anything. Let me write something. Can you see? I can't. I'm still stuck at the f of 1 equal to 3 over 4. Let's, let's do something. Let's Let me open another meeting. Maybe it's... Will be okay. Let me send you a new meeting ID. Okay, through the chat here. Have you seen that? Okay. Okay, join new meeting. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can do it. Okay, let me share. Can you see my screen now? Loading. Okay. Okay, now I can see. Okay, now here we found f of 1 by considering x equal to y equal to 1, right? Yeah. Now I want to find another relationship for 1. x, if we, because we know f2, f3, f5. We can replace x and y with what? 2 and 3 and 2. Exactly, 3 and 2. 3, 2. So, left hand side will be what? Uh, I have 2. Problems. Okay. Yeah, I have 5 plus f one. Yes, right hand side. 2f of 3 mm -hmm. plus uh, 2b plus 2f of 2 plus 2b yeah, plus, plus c. Okay. C. Left hand side f of 5 is what? 7. f of 3 is what? f of 3 is uh, negative 5. Yes, when we want f of 2 is what? 3. Okay, so we can find another equation for f of 1, right? Yeah. So f of 1 will be what then? Negative 10 plus 6, negative 4. Negative 7, negative 11. So 2b plus c minus 11, right? Okay, so we found this relationship. And we can call this one, for example, sixth, right? Yes. Okay. Now here we can consider this one and this one. They are equal, right? Yeah, they are equal. So 3 over 4 minus b over 4 minus 3c over 8 is equal to 2b plus c minus 11. We should multiply both sides by what to get rid of denominators? 8. Yeah, so it will be what? Uh, 3 minus, I mean, 6, six minus 2b plus, I mean, minus 3 is equal to 2b plus c minus 11. 16b plus? 16b1 plus 8c minus 88. Yes. So 16b plus 2b, 18b, right? 
8C plus 3C11C is equal to 88 plus 6 watt 94, right? Teacher, shouldn't we find f of 1 value of f? Shouldn't we what? Shouldn't we find a value of f of 1 first? Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, f of 1 is equal to these two things, right? Yeah. Now we should calculate, we should try to calculate b and c. If we find b and c, then we know function is what, right? Yeah. Okay, so here, want to try a bit on your own to see can you We found one equation in terms of b and c. If you find, and if you can find another equation in terms of b and c, then two equations, two variables, you can find b and c. And then we can try to find f of 1, 2, 3. Want to try a bit on your own to find another equation in terms of b and c? Okay. Okay, try. Teacher, uh, I tried f of negative 1. But... You, could, you couldn't find? Yeah. So let's go. x equal to y equal to oh. If we answer 3 and 5, we know 5 minus 2, 5 plus 3, 8. We know 3 and 5, so we can find f of 8 in terms of b and c, right? If we replace yeah. with 5 and 3. Do you agree also we can find f of 8 by this relationship in terms of yeah. b and c? Because we know f of 2, f of 8, you can find in terms of f of 4, f of 4 in terms of f of 2. So you can find two equations in terms of f of 8 like this that we found two equations. For f of 1, you can use them to find another equation in terms of b and c. Understood? You should do what? Okay. One more hint or that's enough? That's enough. Okay. DJ, is it 18b plus 13c equals negative 94? Mm. Can you say again another equation is what? 18b plus 13c equals negative 94. 18b plus negative 94. Okay, let's calculate this. I, I calculated this in other class, and we can reach this. x is 5, uh, y is 3, right? Yeah. And then f of 8 in two ways, and the thing you said is correct. Uh, we can conclude that... 18b plus 13c is equal to negative 94, right? Yeah, negative 94. Okay, now two equations, two variables. Find b and c, okay? Teacher, I got c equal to 14, b equal to negative 10 over 3. c is equal to what? 14. You had careless mistake. So let, let's replace. What? Um, I understand my cat. Okay, calculating it. Is C equal to negative 94? C is equal to negative 94, you said? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, B is equal to what then? Negative 188 over 3. 88 over 3, exactly. Okay, so we found B and C. Negative. Right? A negative? Sorry. Positive. Okay. Now we found B and C, right? Yeah. Okay, let's copy this word. We want F on 1, 2, 3, okay? So, here... Can you guess if you want to find f of 1, 2, 3, it's good to calculate which of them, which value is first? Do you agree because we found f of 1? We found f of 1 now, right? Yeah. We know f of 1, we know f of 2, we know f of 3. We can also find f of 4, right? All these values f of 5, and you can also calculate, for example, f of 6, 
You say five and one, right? And we can calculate. We can calculate yeah. all f's, right? Yeah. But if you want to start from f one to f one two three, we should calculate around one twenty numbers, right? And it takes yeah. time. But instead of considering this, we can consider which two numbers for one two three. Forty-one. Forty-one, or you can consider around mid number. Uh, yeah, maybe we can find sixty and sixty-three, for example. Yeah, sixty. And for sixty, do you agree? If you know f thirty is what, then we can find f of sixty because we found f of two x in terms of f of x, right? Yeah. For thirteen, we can find f of fifteen, right? Yeah. For fifteen, we can calculate what and what. Well, 15, uh, Do you agree we can find 8 by 4 and 8 2 and, and 1? Yeah. And 7. For finding f of 7, we need to calculate f of what and what? 7, 4 and 3. 4 and 3 or 2 and 5 that we have, right? Oh, 2 and 5, yes. So for 63, we can calculate what and what? 30 and 33. Yes, because we've calculated 30, you can use that 33. For 33, we can calculate what and what? Fifteen and eighteen. Yes, because we can calculate fifteen here, fifteen and eighteen. For eighteen, what? Uh, nine. Nine. For nine, we can calculate what? Five and four. Five and four, or one and eight, both of them are okay, right? Yeah. So you need to calculate f of one, f of two. We know f of 2 is what, f of 3 is what, f of 5 is what. So f of 4, next value, f of 5 we know, f of 7, right? f of yeah. 8, f of 9, f of 15, f of 18, f of 30, 33, right? 63. Yeah. 60 and 120, right? Yeah. Okay, I think you can calculate this as homework. Want to do it now or as homework? Homework. Okay.